Welcome to day 596 of our Web3 journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. And remember, these videos are being sponsored by NFT Tech. They're an investor in DSOFI, the Web3 mobile app built in the DSO blockchain. And NFT Tech is actually Mario Nalfal's company. He's one of the co-founders of it. And Mario had a huge Twitter spaces that started last night. I think it's still running right now. Yeah, so last night, I think it was around like 2 or 3 a.m. Eastern time, I... Uh, they started this space. It was about FTX, about it being hacked, about FTX US being hacked, and about some money being missing. Uh, but what happened was, as Mario was in this Twitter space, along with uh, co-host Alex Valetis, who's from DSO, and Chet, Chet B. Long, remember Chet Long from DSO, uh, Elon Musk came in. And according to OG Gabby on DSO, they were asking Elon about Dogecoin, uh, but his microphone stopped working. When he came in, what Elon said was like Doge to the moon. And everybody's like, wow, Elon Musk is here. And and I I know that Elon went on to talk about his his run-in with uh Sam Bankman Fried, who of course is the founder and CEO of FTX. And he said that Sam actually came he was actually talking to sam and sam offered to put forth some capital for elon's acquisition of twitter and elon said that he saw right through him he kept hearing that sam bang and freeze is a super wealthy guy he had zillions of dollars elon said he he heard and elon said that he didn't believe any of it he said that something didn't seem right he could see this guy not coming through and he didn't accept any money from him. But it was an interesting conversation. But also Mario and Alex uh, Valetis, they said during the show that they were both investors in DSO. Uh, there were 60,000 people on hand, I believe, at one point. Right now, there's 11,000 people still in this room from five hours ago it started. Mario is a crazy workhorse. Uh, the event's recorded. So actually, anybody can still go back and listen to it, listen to what Elon had to say. Uh, just crazy though. I, I mean, it was crazy because the top three guys in the room, Mario, Alex, and Chet, are all people that met on DSO. And it just gives you show like, like DSO is, DSO is a place where people make connections, especially in crypto. And these, some of these connections are gonna be lifelong and some of them are gonna be very valuable connections. Uh, I, I just think that, this just this just shows that Mario heading that up. Mario, of course, is an integral part of our community on DSO. I think that we haven't heard that that last of Elon maybe coming to his shows, and hopefully, hopefully, it means something for DSO. But if not, it, it's great to see these people that we know from DSO interacting with Elon Musk. Yeah, I got to listen a little bit this morning. I missed the section when where Elon was on. I'll probably go back and listen to the recording. Once that event ends, I don't know if it will ever, ever end. Uh, you know, so many great people were in that room. It wasn't just Elon. It wasn't just Alex Olatis and Mario. There are so many other crypto OGs, like some of these big time investment bankers, some of these big time crypto people, people, even the FTX account was in the room listening in for a while. And people from all over the crypto space were in there. So it, it was definitely a room where a lot of the big dogs in crypto were at. And I just want to congratulate Mario because he's done, he's, if you know Mario, you know how hard he has worked to get himself to where he is right now. And it's very well deserved that he's like the leader of Twitter crypto right now. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I want to move on to the DSO blockchain and I want to congratulate several DSO OGs, uh, Sean Slater, DOZ, Clout Women Unite. They all got verified overnight. And there might even be more people than this who were verified. I just don't know who they are. But if you were verified last night, definitely reply to this video, the thread on DSO. Uh, congratulations, all three of these people well deserved, um, you know, the, that little blue check mark. Until associations come, it's really the only way to like really verify your, I guess you could say your OG status, but also your identity. Some of these accounts aren't really identified being verified as far as identity goes, but congratulations. I mean, all three of these people have been here pretty much since the start. Yeah, uh, these people definitely deserve it. I'm, there's plenty of people that deserve it. Hopefully we see it 
uh, verification by association comes soon and none of this will matter, but we'll see. Yeah, and thanks to Gabby for pointing out some of those people who were verified. Uh, also, NFTZ, yesterday we launched the nftz.me forward slash claim NFTs page. So as you know, we released the claim action a uh, couple days ago now, I guess, uh, where you anybody can mint NFTs, mint several editions of their NFT, thousands of editions of their NFTs if they want, and then put them up for free claiming where anybody can come onto NFTZ, click claim the button and claim that NFT. Uh, remember, these creators slash artists can also tie actions to the claim action. So they could say, you need to follow me in order to claim this NFT. They could say, you need diamond and like and repost this NFT in order to claim it. So it helps artists and creators boost themselves on DSO while also giving other people free NFTs in exchange for that. Uh, we're going to add more features, more claim uh, requirements, such as maybe retweeting on Twitter. That's coming soon. But now you, if you go to nftz.me forward slash claim NFTs, you can see all of the NFTs that are claimable for free. So re very cool site. Uh, if you want to check it out again, this is our site, so we might be a little biased. Yeah. And it's, I'm happy to see so many people using it, giving away some NFTs, but also building a following or building, uh, getting some publicity towards their collections. Uh, and like I said, we're, we have a lot more coming here, uh, a work in progress, but I'm going to move on. Natter, uh, he made a post and he talks about new features coming from Diamond. And Diamond is apparently working on shipping a feature publicly that will email you, the user, uh, your daily earnings on DSO. And this is going to include the sources of your earnings as well. So every day, you'll get be able to get a report basically saying you earn this much on DSO for these actions or for for these posts that you made. So I love this. I think it 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 kind of keeps people engaged. It'll keep people coming back and keep people seeing, hey, I made a lot of money yesterday. Let's go back. I think it would be a good idea if they also included the top earners from the day, like maybe the top three or the top, even just the one top earner of the day, so that people who aren't earning or aren't using DSO see that there's these people who are making a ton of money every day on DSO. So I think I think if they could add like a top list, like top three people who earned on DSO that day. So it could bring some of these old people who were used to be on DSO back onto the platform and also new people could encourage them to post. Yeah, definitely. I, I would like to see maybe the top three or something and just, just get people excited. So Diamond also introduced creator cash out yesterday, which is a really cool new feature. I assume it's using Megaswap. Uh, so you can now cash your out your DSO directly uh, from Diamond, from Diamond app diamondapp.com to your USDC address on an exchange such as Coinbase. So basically you just type in the amount of DSO you want to withdraw. You, you put in your USDC withdrawal address and then click cash out and you'll be able to refresh and see if it's taken, if the exchange has taken place yet. Super easy, super simple. I think it's a great way to allow people to easily bring money in and out of DSO and in and out of Diamond App. So great job, Zordon and team. And I'm sure the core team had a major role in this. Yeah, just making it easier for people to onboard to DSO and and figure everything out. I, I think this is a great, great new feature for sure. What else did Natter have to say in a reply to Whale Shark yesterday? Yeah, so I mean, if you were on DSO yesterday, you would know that Whale Shark has taken over the hot feed. I mean, like, Maybe like, I don't know, maybe 50% of the hot feed is whale shark ETH. <laughs> but uh, it's we're glad to have him back. Super knowledgeable person within the crypto and NFT space. Uh, Nata replied to him saying that the core team's working with DSOFI to take it to the next level. And he said this is especially the case surrounding onboarding. So, you know, DSOFI is the mobile app on the DSO blockchain. But it's, I think it's really good. This is the first time we hear like the core team's actually working with them to improve the onboarding process because I think onboarding is huge for a mobile app. And I'm I'm just glad to see that Natter and the core team are helping Reball out in improving this. Yeah, and, and DSO has a lot to offer and I'm sure it's going to have even more to offer. It's probably going to play an integral part in bringing mainstream users onto the DSO protocol. But yeah, and, and Natter also had a reply to Ben Ersing. Uh, ben Ersing, of course, a VC OG on DSO. 
Uh, and he told Ben Ersing that Diso wants to actually actually add cold storage wallets. So they want to get the Diso coin added to these cold storage wallets. He said it might be time now, uh, as multiple people have been requesting it, including Ben, that the core team starts to consider upping the priorities of ledger integration as a way to attract some bigger hodlers. So glad you see this, because I think this is big. And I think it is something, especially with this FTC hack and FT, everything that's been going on with F, FTX, FTX, I'm sorry, with FTX and everything that's been going on right there. I think people are interested in cold storage. And I think we need to be able to have DSO in our cold storage wallets. Yeah, and, and I, I think a lot of people, you, you can keep it on DSOs, you can keep it in your DSO account, uh, and that's not like keeping it on a, an exchange, but at the same time, you still are trusting the the app that you're using. There's there's a lot of trust issues going on there. Having Being able to have it in cold storage uh, would be key, I think, for getting some bigger hodlers in here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you're saying you're trusting the app because as long as that, if, as long as you know that app is using DSO identity, you're yeah. good. But I guess there could be some apps that eventually come around and start spoofing DSO identity, yeah. start faking it, and you end up giving your seed phrase to them. So, you know, I think cold storage is definitely a priority that should be addressed. Well, yeah, but, and and there's also the issue with like uh, key loggers. So maybe you put in your put in your seed phrase and it sniffs it out and sends it to somebody. So th there's always issues that you could have viruses, Trojans on your computer. Cold storage is definitely a, a, a much more secure way to go about things. Yeah, for sure. So Natter also had a post he made where he's pu actually putting a bounty up on GitHub for someone to create post and replies tab on, I guess, any DSO app, uh, Diamond app, et cetera, just the coding for that, like Twitter does. So like if you go to Twitter and you go to somebody's profile, you you have the ability to view their post, but you also get to see their at replies. So any, po any reply they may do anyone else, you can view those in a separate stream. So Natter thinks this would be very useful for Diamond. He feels it would be very useful for the DSO ecosystem. So he put up a bounty and it's on GitHub. So if you're a developer, definitely go and check that out. Yeah, and, and I, I definitely think it would be a great feature. I we're all used to it on Twitter, where you're gonna see like, hey, what what's Elon Musk replying to people? Like maybe he hasn't made a post in two days, but maybe he's replied to some people. And every rep, rep, there's so much hidden information in replies that people don't usually come about. Yeah, I do that. I check Elon's replies all the time because there's you can learn a lot of stuff, but they're not typically shown unless they get a lot of likes or retweets. But Yesterday, we've talked we talked a lot about DSO Labs and their Crypto Winter 2022 hackathon over the past, I guess, month or so. And Conchi's doing a great job with that. And they've raised, I, th I think, over $7,000 to give away as prizes. But Whale Shark ETH actually just bought the gold sponsorship for 32 DSO. So I'm assuming the prize pool is going to go up unless they plan to use that money for something else. But just want to say thanks, Whale Shark ETH, for helping support the DSO Labs Crypto Winter Hackathon. Uh, and helping the DSO ecosystem in general. Yeah, I, I saw him make a post asking people like how he can help the ecosystem. Uh, what's the best way he can help the ecosystem? And I think that's a great way. I, I think the de development on DSO is important and contributing to that prize uh, by donating is definitely an important start, I think. Uh, so Matreshka, Matreshka is looking for a new co-host for her DSO in the Eyes of the Bee Hodlers show or podcast that she does. Uh, if you're interesting, if you're interested in doing it, just contact her on DSO. You know her, uh, Matreshka, her account. Uh, doing amazing things for DSO since the very start. Uh, if you want to work with with Matreshka on this, there's, I'm sure there's plenty of people that would make a good fit. Yeah, for sure. Also, Thorsten. OG developer, uh, he has launched a early beta version of a new layer two DSO app that he calls SuDSO, uh, S-U-DSO. Uh, it's a community-like app that lets you find content by categories uh, and post content into categories. So if you want to post it into a specific category, you can do that. Uh, he also says that it's going to focus on speed simplicity, content discovery, 
fair monetization and revenue share. Uh, I checked it out. It's obviously still in early beta, uh, but you can get a sort of idea of what it's going to look like. Um, Thurston's great. Thurston's been building since the beginning. I don't think he gets enough credit. Yeah, I agree 100%. He's one of those OG developers who have been here building upon building upon building. And some of his stuff, you know, catches on some of it, it kind of fizzles out because people aren't too interested, but he doesn't give up, he keeps trying and keeps coming up with more unique ideas. So keep up the great work, Thorsten, your your ideas are amazing. And I just love seeing all your new creations. Yeah, and speaking of another OG, D-O-Z. Uh, in a reply to Whale Shark ETH, he said that he's writing a banga, A B A N G A, and it's a sci fi fantasy anthology, anthology series. Um, it's an NFT project, and there will eventually be 99 audiovisual NFTs scattered across the multiverse via blockchains, he said. And each NFT is going to unlock a piece of the series. Uh, they're also going to be printing the book and distributing it via audiobook through Amazon uh, slash Audible. Uh, and, and you can view the original knockoffs, as he calls them, at abanga.nftz.me. Uh, definitely check it out. DOZ has, is an amazing talent in, in multiple ways, uh, and I'm sure this is going to be awesome. I'm sure and he's now verified. He's now yeah. verified. Now on verified. Uh, so... Salil so Shah, the new COO of DSO, uh, we haven't heard much from him since he started. Uh, he did put out a blog post. I'm sure he's very, actually, I know he's very busy, but he made a post highlighting his first two weeks in Web3 on the DSO blockchain. He said he's been blown away by the passion of the DSO community. And he said that he thinks the DSO community is flipping the narrative that creators don't get paid for what they're doing on web two, you know, like on Instagram and Twitter, everybody posts for free and aren't expecting to actually make money for what they do. But these has kind of flipped that narrative where you can post and expect to get diamonds. You expect to get some sort of earnings from just a simple text post even. Uh, so he's excited about that. He said he's watching web three for a while, uh, but he passed on other opportunities because he didn't see the true tangible value there. He said a lot of those ideas seem like crypto for the sake of crypto. Uh, you know, like these Web3 ideas, a lot of them are like, okay, it's crypto, so let's do something crypto related. Who cares if there's really much benefit? The whole idea of crypto is going to bring people in. And he yeah, said, like, like, these, yeah, like, I think like, like there's a lot of get rich quick schemes, I'd say, where people are like, uh, let's, let's add crypto into this or let, let's, let's use crypto because then I can have my own token and I can make a lot of money with this token. I, DSO isn't like that, I don't feel. No, yeah, like I, I think DSO, they use crypto for what it's needed for. And crypto allows them to, I guess I should say blockchain allows them to do what they want. Uh, he said with DSO, he feels it's an exception uh, because with DSO, it's all about solving real problems like helping creators make money, enabling self sustaining communities, and helping creators and fans connect with one another across platforms and apps. And I agree 100% with that. Uh, he said, He's still learning about DSO and it's it's a big learning process. He's studying the roadmap. He's, you know, having talks with the core team. He also said he's had some fun debates and brainstorming sessions with Natter. I'd love to be a fly on the wall for that, listening to Salil Shah and Natter debate certain topics. And I, I think that's great. I think it's healthy because I think Natter, you know, he has this grand scheme in his head, but he needs somebody to kind of bounce ideas off of. Uh, he said that he's excited to put together his business roadmap soon as well. So I don't know if that's going to be released publicly or not, but that would definitely be something I think the community would love to see. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really confident that uh, Shah is going to make some waves, I think, with DSO. I think, if nothing else, him freeing up time for Natter to keep building. And I think building is so important, especially right now when the whole crypto market's down big time. Uh I, I think the fact that Natter's going to be able to keep building, he's going to be able to take on the the, the business side of things. Uh, I, I think that's big. And I think it's going to help DSO. It's going to help push forward things a lot faster. Yeah, definitely. So as many of you know, NFTZ.me is the only place where you can post and view live time DSO NFT auctions. Just go to NFTZ.me forward slash auctions and you see all the auctions that are ending soon. And these are all the timed auctions. Uh, I just want to highlight a few that are ending in the next 24 hours. 
uh, the very first Piper Penguin NFT, number one of 100. There's 100 in the series. Number one ends today at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We talked about this series, uh, I guess, a couple weeks ago about it was coming soon. It's actually created by a young man named John Wells. He's a son of Nathan Wells, DSOG Nathan Wells. This number one NFT has a minimum bit of just 0.5 DSO. And like I said, it ends tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely check that out. You get the very first in the series if you want to bid. Uh, also, ZN Mead is auctioning off an effed up cat season three, number 841. That ends at a little bit after midnight tonight. Uh, definitely check it out. It's a really cool one. And Elric Ericos has more photography NFTs up for auction and they end between 4 and 5 p.m eastern time today his photographer's photography is awesome if you haven't seen it yet and you get his nfts pretty affordably yeah and i want to quickly get to the top nft bidders on the dso blockchain in the last 24 hours according to nftz they are as follows ambitious lynch dead metal doz marco dietrich shadow crypto leo j george t zn mead Pickle Joe and Dr. Rob. And the top diamond creators over the last 24 hours, thanks to our friends at Alton Base for this list. These people received the most diamonds or tips on their posts and replies on the DSO blockchain in the last day. Whale Shark ETH, who's been all over the place, Sage, Lil Lover, Regina Marie, Natter, Krasenstein, which is us, of course, Shady Acres, Pixel Angelo, Sean Slater, and X Money. Yeah, congratulations to everyone. Everybody have a great rest of your Saturday. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.